Hey art kids, I'm gonna show you how to do some really basic bubble and block letters. I'm gonna post some resources on Google Classroom that show you how to do some um, trickier things with fonts because your next assignment is going to be to create a graffiti inspired um, motivational message. It can be one word, it can be a phrase um, of your choosing but it needs to be inspirational in some way because right now we all need a little bit more joy. So um, let me, I'm gonna start with a really basic um, four letter word. I'm gonna start with the word love. And I'm gonna draw out my letters with some space in between with a pencil and um, you can make these lines pretty light. And I'm gonna show you bubble letter letters first. So bubble letters. I'm just gonna draw a line around the outside of my original letters. And then when I get to the top of that line, I'm gonna curve it around, okay? And then I'm gonna curve it around this corner and then curve around the end like that. I'm gonna leave that line there for now. Now, I notice um, my L overlaps the O, and that is fine. So I need to decide one of two things. Is my O going to come in front of the L, or is the L going to be in front of the O? And for me, I want the L to be in front. So instead of drawing my O in front like this, I'm going to draw it so that it starts at the L and I'm gonna go around my O like that and I'm gonna stop when I get to my L again and then I'm gonna make a circle in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the V. And the E. Just like that. Now I'm going to go back in and erase. Now, if I wanted to do block letters, same idea. But instead of curving my lines at the top, I'm gonna draw straight edges. My O is gonna go behind the L again, so I start and end the outside of my L, and then that's how I want that to be. And then with the V, I can make the top run parallel like this, or I could make it go out like that, which I kinda like. So I'm gonna do something like that, and I'm gonna let the V go behind the O. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the E. See what I did there, how I started it behind the V? Or at the edge of the V, so it looks like it's behind the V. And then just like with my bubble letters, I'm going to erase these lines on the inside. Okay, so you can do this with a pencil. You can do this with some just lined paper. Um, whatever. If you have paper that isn't lined, that's better, but lined paper will work just fine. Lined paper would help you get straight lines, which isn't a bad thing. Alright, so there we go. There's block letters and bubble letters.